Hello, welcome back. Today I'm showing you a neural network implementation in a number recognition program. Firstly, we will see the basics of neural networks, then the code in Visual Studio and the results. Okay. If you are not concerned about what neural network is, I'm going to make a brief introduction and talk about the mathematics below. You can see how, what are the process to, to compute the, the neural network weight. First, you, we need to, to see the, uh, the feed forward, then the back propagation learning, and we are going to see the example. Okay. The neural network is divided into three, three different types of layer. The input layer, the hidden layer, and the output layer. Each layer has neurons that are connected to the next layer using weights. Each line represents a weight. You can see it in, the, in this picture. Uh, the artificial neural network is based on simply arithmetic operation. The input are multiplied to the corresponding weight and, en and then added. So we, we multiply the input by the weight, and then sum by added by the, the next input by, by the weight, and then we apply uh, the activation function that in, in this case is the sigmoid function. You can see uh, the sigmoid function here, that is draw. We repeat this process and finally we get the desired output. We will have 10 outputs in our example that will represent the probability to, to be the number that, that is given. The neural network is, if it's not working, we must make it learnable. And the process to make that starts with the calculation of the error. The error is the target al output minus the, the, the desired output, uh, the, uh, our, our output from the neural network. And the total error is calculated using this this easy formula. Firstly, we, we do the, the square root because we don't want the sign and then we divide it by 2 to, to make the derivative easier. Okay, now we, we back propagate the error using the fo these formulas that are really difficult so we are not going to, to do that in this video. But if you are interested, you you can tell me in the in the comments, and I will make a, a specific video about talking about these derivatives. Uh, the derivatives, the derivative of the error with respect to to the output is is very easy. You can see it. the derivative of the activation function is the activation function multiplied by 1 min minus the activation function and the derivative of the network uh, with respect to, to the weight is, is only the output. And if we w the, the problem goes when, when, we are when we try to get the, the derivative of the error with respect the output, uh, sorry, uh, when we are trying to to get the derivative of the error with respect to the output uh, in a in a hidden layer or the input layer, because we need to to get the the sum of the previous to the next layers, and that's why it's called backpropagation. 
and once we, we calculate the derivative, we update the weights using the this formula. Uh, this this letter this Greek letter is called eta, and is is usually a, a number between zero and one. It's the learning rate that that we are using. And if uh, now we are going to see the number recognition program imp implementation in C++ code. I've used a, a M M East dataset that is for free on the internet and you can download to, to try your, your own neural networks. I've used a learning rate of 0 0.5 and a minibatch of 8. The topology of the neural network is 28 multiplied by 28, that is the input layer, because our image is square. And the hidden layers are 20, 20, and the output layer 10. And when we train the neural network, we get uh, an error of, of 0 0.001, that is very good. Now we are going to see the code of the neural network. I've used uh, four classes in total to, to make the neural network and, and the, mm, uh, the data set reader. The, the first class is the, the layer that contains the, the weights and, and the bias and, and some values. And the important functions that are here are the, the feed forward and the init and the init. Our neural network includes a vector of layers that is here and a train and a, a vector of that is the training set and the training result. We have some characteristics of the neural network, the the learning rate, the momentum the the learning rate of the bias element, the the epochs that that are how many how much times is the is repeated the process of learning. Now we are going to, to decrease it because we only want one or two to make it faster. The error and the topology of the of the neural network. The file reader that you see is a uh, the new C uh, number uh, two thousand seventeen with some new with new new incorporated things like the make directories, remove, look if they are here. And we have the reader of the M M M NIST uh, dataset. You don't need to make it yourself because it's complex and the uh, and it uses a really a strange format. So you can copy it uh, by yourself. I will upload this code in GitHub, so don't worry. And the activation function. This is the a very important part because y you don't want to use the same activation function for all layers. We know maybe a, a ReLU, the linear, the sigmoid, the hypertangent, and there are its correspondent derivatives. I have stored this function in a fu in a function array that is a little bit advanced in C++. But it works like like a simple array, but in functions. You can, and in our neural net, we have our our training method that that I here uh, is the the loop where we run through through all the the tra training set, and we we have this. 
this kind of methods that are called the feed forward and the back propagation and we only update the, the neural network every when the the model of i divided by batch size is equal to zero so uh, one only one time it's eight and that's all so let's see how it works okay I think that's enough you can see you could see that that it's learning very quickly the error has decreased in some in no. the the right column repre represents the output of the neural network and the left column represents the the real output so in this case we we get an zero point fifty nine and we we should have take a a one result that's why we get an a total error of zero point one but in other cases like here we we get a a really close number to to th our desired output and we get a an error of 10 to the power of minus 5 and we only have go a uh, loop through 2000 out of 10,000 training set so you can see how how it works and its performance in only a few seconds uh, the, the neural net has learned to to recognize numbers with a uh, really high accuracy so that's all. If you like this video and want to see related content, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment. See you in the next video.